All right, well, as you can see, folks, this is a pretty good little trail. This goes down to Cedar Falls. That's a double-level platform right there. What it does is it zigzags all the way around, man, up the mountain, see, up there to the top. So uh, we're going to go on down here and have us a look-see. It's, uh, it's Friday afternoon, I guess about 3 o'clock, 3.30. It wasn't so bad down in the plains, but uh, as I came up Petty Jean and, and crested, the higher I got up the mountain, of course, the more the temperature dropped. And boy, I tell you what, it's blistering cold up here right now. So uh, you guys know I'm glad I brought the extra gear with me today. But this is a pretty cool little thing they've set up down here. It blends in well. And so here we go. We're coming up on the overlook here. Just kind of give you an idea. I'm going to slowly pan. That's what it looks like as you come into it. You, I don't know if you can, I don't know if the phone is going to pick up the roar of the falls. The, the falls are below me. We'll show you that in a minute. Creation of Petty Jean, Dr. T.W. Hardison. Other attractions, Davies Bridge, i got some pictures of that, Pioneer Cabin, Mather Lodge. I've never seen Rock House Cave. So here we go. This is the canyon that's been carved out. Pretty deep little canyon. Coming back, there's the falls. Look at that how much of that's been eaten away over the years man it's beautiful isn't it let me see if I can zoom in maybe and get a little better picture for you well there's all kinds of hawks and there we go see a little better now look how far that's been eaten out over time where the water pools so, you know, looking at this, the water was like up where it is now falling at the top of the fall. The water was that high and it pooled there and then just slowly ate its way down. Look at that. It's pretty deep. It's a good little trek down here. I'm going to see if I can get you some better pictures, though. Let's go have us a look, I guess, huh? I'll get a better idea now. Let me zoom in a little bit here for you. Hands are a little cold. It's hard for me to work the buttons. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. Man. Hell of a hike, especially if you go all the way to the bottom. Probably some really nice swimming down there in the summer if you could get away with it. There's a lot of water flowing through there. All right, so this is down kind of toward the bottom. All right, so this is down kind of toward the bottom, as you can see. Get over here. Try to get you a little better view out there. You can't, uh, the wind is cold enough here at this point. You can't keep your gloves off for very long. You take your gloves off, your fingers will start to kind of get a little frostbite kind of start turning numb and burning or burning and turning numb there you go folks that's about the that's about the best view I'm going to be able to get you today 
sorry, I just, <laughs> I'm not a Boy Scout anymore. <laughs> Those treks down to the bottom of that canyon just aren't for me anymore. That's a younger man's game. As you can see, we're well below the ridge line now. When I first started taking pictures and showing it to you, I was even with or even above the ridge line. Of course, that's Mather Lodge way over there. Maybe we can get you some views of the canyon wall that Mather Lodge sits on. Let's see. See the canyon wall that Mather Lodge sits on there? See how deep that goes into the valley? Look at that. Pretty crazy, huh? Boy, it's cold. I'll tell you, it is cold. <sighs> Natural stone steps going back up here. Let's see if we can't get a little more different view or a little different view of them. Here you go. How about this? Let's have a look see here. Pretty nice, huh? I'd like to go to the bottom. I just I don't have the stamina for it. There's Mather Lodge over there. There's the canyon. Kind of like a miniature Grand Canyon, just like the Grand Canyon, the the creek here is the river here that's flowing through the falls is eating it out over the years. You can see the valley cut through the rock there. And boy, it's steep too, I want to tell you. It's very steep. Alright, well, as you can see, plenty of wildlife, beautiful place, Arkansas, a natural state. If you hadn't got out on your bike and checked it out yet, you need to. Alright, folks.